So many questions on face rolling, face massage, face gua sha. So I wanted to do face rolling today. Yesterday I did a quick video on car gua sha, just to do a quick three minute car gua sha. Um, but today I'm actually gonna do a full face rolling and show you the routine that I do when I really have the time to do the full face rolling. And also do a face massaging video uh, later on today. I'll probably do it in the car. So you can use any oil. I use grapeseed oil. Basically the only makeup I have on right now is my mascara and my lipstick. Um, I'm actually just going to go without foundation today, which I'm so excited. I'm actually at the point that I can go without foundation because of the stuff that I've been doing for my skin over the past few months. After I'm done this, I'm just going to throw on some sunscreen, tinted, so I get too crazy. And then we're going to go out for the day. I'm going to wipe my hand with these absolutely useless Dollar Tree towels. If you've seen my Dollar Tree videos, don't buy this one. I'm going to use the Face Fit Roller. This is, if you go to Face Fit, can... I'll, I'll tag it. I'll tag the link. Usually start with the forehead and really start moving down and then I'll kind of come up and then drain out. So, so I start up here and I kind of go up and out. And by the way, I haven't had Botox since January 25th and I still am like really smooth up there. And I really think it's because of all the rolling and massaging that I've done over the past few months. So I'll try to do 10 swipes in each direction. I try to actually extend it a little bit to go up into the hairline just to really get it. It's almost like you want to take a look at one of those sheets that you're putting on your phone and trying to get out all the bubbles. That's really kind of what you're doing. I really kind of take the smaller part and I really do the eyebrow for an eyebrow lift. Then I'll actually go around the eye. And I'll do it three or four times clockwise and three or four times counterclockwise. And I'll do 10 on the top of the cheekbone to really kind of smooth it out and get that into the hairline. And I'll really carve under the cheekbone and really spin the roller as I'm doing that. This is my favorite. And before I head to the lower face, I make sure I get the sides of my nose. Really get the fluids going all the way down. I'm watching my lipstick, but that's okay. All the way down to the marionette lines. Make sure, again, you're, squid, you're spinning. I'll take the small end and really just kind of smooth out those lip lines. Then we want to smooth out that dimpled chin. So I start from the middle and I start really smoothing out. And I try to get that all the way up to the ear so that you're really getting everything going up in that direction. I really like to spend the time here to really give it that chiseling because I've really seen a difference in that line that's forming. I love working on the cheekbones. Now the lower neck because the lower neck is being pulled down. So what you want to do is you really want to relax the muscles. So I roll up here and towards the front of the neck. So I bring it all up. Do that. I really carve in the side. Gouache is really good for under here. This one doesn't hit quite as well, but you can still roll it and try to massage it out. You just gotta get it really hard. And the last thing you do is the sides, where you really want to. This feels so good. You really want to massage it down and really get that relaxation. And you can you kind of use your hand here as well. Just get everything relaxed with this whole muscle. It actually goes from like here all the way down here. I like to stretch it and really kind of use my hand too to really get everything kind of relaxed. Always make sure I get my chest to get rid of those wrinkles. And that's it. I'm not